Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to have some discussion about MCQs of nutrition and digestion from Miller and Harley Zoology. Let's move to the question number one. Which of the following has fewest nutritional requirements? Those organisms which perform photosynthesis or which are capable of synthesizing their own nutrients, they have least requirements for the nutrients outside their bodies from the environment. That's why right option will be green plants, which are photosynthetic organisms. Example in uh, in this. But the bacteria are autotrophic organisms, be here or heterotrophic. Bhi. But green plants they are always photosynthetic. So we will prefer them. Number two, if the diet of an animal is much varied, that animal will. If the diet has variety of nutrients included, then it will be slowly and steadily. The animal will further nutrients and will synthesize the ability to synthesize. लूज कर देगा क्योंकि उसके एनवायरमेंट से उसे वैरायटी ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स मिल रहे होंगे सो राइट ऑप्शन है यहां पर बीटा नंबर 3 हाईएस्ट कैलोरीज रिलीज पर ग्राम वी नो दे आर रिलीज फ्रॉम द फैट्स 9 किलो कैलोरीज पर ग्राम जबकि प्रोटीन्स और कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स से यही वैल्यू 4 कैलोरीज पर ग्राम है क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 Lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates are usually linked with each other during respiration. ये सारे respiration के दौरान energy का source हो सकते हैं, but उनका जो linkage point है, ये vary तो करता है, but most of the time they are linked at link reaction or pyruvate oxidation. Link reaction भी इसको कहते हैं क्योंकि ये glycolysis को link कर रहा होता है Krebs cycle के साथ. So acetyl coenzyme A point पे carbohydrates भी add हो रहे होते हैं, fatty acids भी. और प्रोटीन्स के माइने एसिड भी यहां पर ऐड होके रेस्पिरेटरी सब्सट्रेट्स के तौर पे एक्ट कर सकते हैं तो राइट ऑप्शन होगी यहां पे प्रेफरेबल आंसर होगा बीटा नंबर 5 स्टीरोल्स आर सिंथेसाइज्ड फ्रॉम प्रीकर्सर्स कॉल्ड स्टीरोल्स दे आर डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम फैटी एसिड्स सो राइट ऑप्शन है यहां पर बीटा मेजर कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ टीथ एंड बोन्स एसेंशियल फॉर ब्लड क्लॉटिंग Required for normal functioning of neurons as well as muscles. There are so many options in this question. The teeth and bones का major constant calcium है और ये blood clotting उसमें भी signaling के तौर पे एक करेगा और हमें पता है कि neurons की functioning के लिए भी especially at synapse ये important role play करेगा. So right option है beta. Number seven. One of the following prevents tooth decay. It's fluorine. जो कि टूथ डिके को प्रिवेंट करने में रोल प्ले करता है इट हेल्प्स मिनरल लॉस कॉज बाय प्लैक एसिड्स एंड प्रमोट्स रीमिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ एर्ली डिके दैट्स वाई ये प्रोटेक्शन करेगा टीथ की नंबर एट द डाइटरी नीड फॉर विटामिन सी एंड द फैट सोलबल विटामिन टेंस टू बी लिमिटेड टू द Vertebrates. These vertebrates के अंदर mainly जो है वो dietary need के तौर पे vitamins use होंगे, which are known as fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin B1 is also named as thiamine. Riboflavin B2, जबकि niacin जो है वो vitamin और cyanocobalamin B12 जो है इनको ये नाम दिए जाएंगे. Niacin is also known as vitamin B3. All of the following are water soluble vitamins except A, D, E, or K. Fat soluble and jabki B and C are uski further types. Water soluble hai. So vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. So right option hogi delta. Unicellular and simple multicellular animals preferably use dash mode of digestion. The simple organism on extracellular mode of digestion more common hai, while higher organisms they possess intracellular digestion mostly. Extracellular digestion may body se bahir. फूड को डाइजेस्ट करके फिर जो है वो इंटेक किया जाता है जबकि इंट्रासेलर डाइजेशन में जो डाइजेशन होगी विद इन द सेल्स होगी यूनिसेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स वो मोस्टली इंट्रासेलर जो है वो डाइजेशन को प्रेफर कर रहे होंगे जबकि मल्टीसेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स में सॉरी मल्टीसेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स जो ज्यादातर हायर लेवल के ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैं उनमें एक्स्ट्रा डाइजेशन मोर कॉमन है सो राइट ऑप्शन होगा यहाँ पर एल्फा लाइक like, हमारी बॉडी के अंदर जो डाइजेशन हो रही है ऑरल कैविटी में गट में स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन में या आउटसाइड द सेल्स है इन द कैविटीज है इसे हम कहेंगे एक्स्ट्रा सेलर ट्यूब वॉर्म्स एंड बार्नेकल्स दे आर कैटेगराइज एज इनको सस्पेंशन फीडर के दौर पे कैटेगराइज किया जाता है ट्यूब वॉर्म्स को भी और बार्नेकल्स को भी डिपोजिट फीडिंग प्राइमरिली इंक्लूड 
डिपॉजिट फीडिंग में एग्जाम्पल आती है हमारे पास मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑमनी वोरस ऑर्गेनिजम दे आर डिपॉजिट फीडर्स कॉर्निवर्स फ्लैश पे मीट फीड करने वाले हैं हर्बी वर्स प्लांट मटीरियल पे और फ्लूड फीडर जो है ये फ्लूड मटीरियल पे फीड करेंगे इनवर्टिब्रीड्स दैट इवॉल्व मैक्रो हर्बी बोरी इंक्लूड ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मुलस में मैक्रो हर्बी बोरी है आर्थ्रोपोर्ट में है सी एर्चन में है बट नाइडेरियंस दे आर सिंपल ऑर्गेनिजम दे डू नॉट प्रोसेस द हैबिट ऑफ मैक्रो हर्बी बोरी सर्टन स्पेश Polychaetes and many vertebrates, which sit and wait for the prey to come in seizing distance. इनको क्या कहते हैं? इनको जी नाम दिया जाता है lurking predators, जो wait करते हैं incoming prey का और फिर उसको capture करते हैं. They are lurking predators. Endoparasites usually lack gut, but a few non-parasitic multicellular animals also lack a mouth and digestive system and absorb nutrients across their body surface. एंडोपैरासाइट तो इसलिए मिसिंग होता है उनमें कि वो होस्ट के ऊपर डिपेंड करेंगे बट जो कुछ नॉन पैरासिटिक मल्टीसेल एनिमल्स में ऐसे एग्जांपल्स मिलते हैं उसमें हमारे पास एग्जांपल है पगोन हॉर्न वर्म्स जिनको हमने अभी अभी ट्यूब वर्म्स के नाम से पढ़ा तो राइट ऑप्शन है यहाँ पर एल्फा नंबर सेवनटीन लेम्परेज दे आर कैटेगराइज एज लेम्परेज दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म के ऊपर पैरासिटिक वे में ब्लड फीडिंग पैरासाइट के तौर पर करते हैं डेट्स वे देर नाउन एज Fluid feeders. So right option is here. Alpha. You can see a lamprey feeding point on a fish. So this is why alpha is preferred. The only mammal which entirely feeds on blood is a vampire bat, Desmodus. So right option is here. We have this. This is also alpha. Kangaroo, uh, you know, herbivorous mammal. Hai. Felis, carnivorous, or Cyclopha, omnivorous habit. Complete digestive system first appeared. In. It was first observed in S. helminths, which is known as tube-like digestive system. बाकी जो higher groups हैं उनके अंदर भी ये complete digestive system मौजूद है जिसमें mouth and anus दो separate ends मौजूद होंगे. Cytosome. In case of protozoa, it opens into another structure, which is known as a cytopharynx. As you can see over here, ये food intake के लिए cytosome का स्ट्रक्चर यहाँ पे लेबल होगा विच इज फॉर्मिंग एट द लेवल ऑफ साइटो फेरिंग्स तो साइटोसोम ओपन हो रही होती है साइटो फेरिंग्स में नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ मोलर्स दे कंटेन अ क्रिस्टलाइन स्टाइल गैस्ट्रिक शील्ड एज वेल एज आर डाइवर्टिकुलेटेड रीजन वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस डाइवर्टिकुले तो अगर आप इस डायग्राम को देख सकें नेक्स्ट पे तो ये डायवर्टिकुले बेसिकली इंक्रीज करते हैं सर्फिस एरिया फॉर द एब्जॉर्बन Just look at this. ये हमारे पास मलस के स्टमिक का स्ट्रक्चर शो किया गया है क्रिस्टलाइन शील गैस्ट्रिक शील विद स्टाइल सेक स्टमिक और इसमें जो प्रोजेक्टेड पोर्शन है दे आर नाउन एस डाइवर्टिकुले डाइवर्टिकुले दे इंक्रीज सर्फिस एरिया फॉर द एब्जॉर्बन सो राइट ऑप्शन है डेल्टा इन इंसेक्ट मिड गट सिक्रीट अदर इंजाइम्स That enter the तो मिड गट से जो इंजाइम सिक्रीट हो रहे होते हैं वो क्रॉप के अंदर एंटर होंगे और वहां पर ये फर्दर डाइजेशन में असिस्ट करेंगे राइट right ऑप्शन है यहाँ पर चार्ली विच आर द फॉलोइंग पार्ट ऑफ गट इज इन्वॉल्व इन एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ मैक्सिम न्यूट्रिय इन इंसेक्ट तो इंटेस्टाइन का जो पोर्शन है इंसेक्ट के अंदर ये मेजर एब्जॉर्बन में रोल प्ले करता है इन केस ऑफ इंसेक्ट सो राइट ऑप्शन है यहाँ पर चार्ली नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर मोबाइल टर्न फॉर एक्वायरिंग फूड इज अ फीचर ऑफ इट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व इन केस ऑफ सर्टन एम्फीबियन एज वेल एज वेप्टाइल्स तो इन्हें हम नाम देते हैं टेट्राफोर्ट टेट्राफोर्ट के अंदर ये कॉमन फीचर है जिसके अंदर मोबाइल टर्न है टू कैप्चर इट स्प्रे सो राइट ऑप्शन है डेल्टा मोस्ट वर्टिब्रेड दे प्रोजेस टीथ But they're missing in turtles. के अंदर they missing हैं ये birds में भी teeth usually missing and baleen whales they also lack teeth. So right option is case में delta. Unlike other vertebrates, these three examples are the examples of those vertebrates which usually lack teeth. Which of the following animal has teeth sloped backward to retain the prey? And such teeth can be observed in case of snake, which have 
backward slope teeth to retain their prey as you can see in the skull diagram of the snake as well as their fangs they are inverted on the back side toward back side to retain or to capture the prey predominantly grinding teeth they are observed in herbivorous animals which have flatter teeth as compared to carnivorous or omnivorous or carnivorous organisms ki teeth pointed hain jaisa ki aap is diagram mein dekh sakte hain aur inke flat jabki omnivorous organism they have intermediate specialization of their teeth number 28 most fishes lack salivary glands but lampreys are an exception which use saliva saliva in lampreys is used as anticoagulant because they are fluid feeder blood feeding parasites and while feeding on the blood of other organisms they secrete there's uh, this modified saliva which acts as anticoagulant esophagus is observed shorter in case of anemniotes and longer in case of amniotes amniotes are those organisms which have uh, embryonic layers amnion such as reptile birds and mammals aur jinme ye nahi hai like fishes and amphibians they are categorized as anemniotes so right option hai yahan par beta which part of the esophagus is modified to form the crop in grain and seed eating birds to posterior ya jise hum keh sakte hain caudal portion of the such birds this it is modified to form a crop like this or ye hamare paas jo example hai birds ki isme anterior portion ye hai jo mouth ke sath linked hoga jabki posterior part crop mein modified hai jise hum caudal part ka naam de rahe hain number 31 Which one of the following is not considered as primitive and important function of the stomach? Stomach actually evolved here for the storage of food, or its major antiseptic secretions are like HCl, they help in the killing of bacteria as well as preservation of food. But digestion is not considered as the prime function. It's involved in partial digestion of protein food only. This is the prime function. gizzard in birds it developed from to so bird ke andar gizzard ventriculus ka jo structure hai isse develop hoti hai it is also named as gizzard or ventriculus as you can see in the digestive tract of a hen expanded over here the gizzard ventriculus structure hai jo ke grinding mein role play karegi so right option hai yahan par charlie largest member of the stomach in ruminant is the rumen और इसको आप एक रिमिनेंट के अंदर यहाँ पे ऑब्जर्व भी कर सकते हैं पॉपुलेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम इन देर तो इनके अंदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम को रिटेन करने के लिए सीका या सीकम डेवेलप हुए इन लास्ट which are uh, in last uh, in last ck over here as you can see in this picture baki organisms ke nisbat inki ck kam large bhi hai aur zyada population retain kar sakte hain for digestion of cellulose bile pigments the results from phagocytosis of red cells or red blood cells in the spleen liver red bone marrow to ye in sabhi jagahon pe kuch na kuch phagocytosis mainly liver mein lekin baki jagahon pe spleen aur red bone marrow mein bhi inki production hoti hai so delta Billy Rubin uh, is red bile pigment, while Billy Verdon is green. So right option is Charlie over here. The different pigments and just the composition, the composition के दौरान जो है वो produce हो रहे होते हैं. Billy Verdon, it is green in color. Pancreas is found in all vertebrates, but is not a visible organ in. Pancreas, lung fishes के अंदर reduced है और कोई visible organ नहीं है. Mammals, amphibians, और reptiles में ये प्रोमिनेंट स्ट्रक्चर है और फर्दर बैंक्रियाटिक जूस प्रोड्यूस करके तो डाइजेशन में असिस्ट कर रहा होगा मॉडरेटली लॉन्ग इंटेस्टाइंस दे आर ऑब्जर्व इन एम्फीबियंस एज वेल एज रेप्टाइल्स बट बर्ड्स एंड मैमल्स दे आर हैविंग रिलेटिवली लार्जर इंटेस्टाइंस सो यहां पर हमारे पास ऑप्शन है चार्ली जो कि राइट आंसर है Which of the following is a fact when large intestine of birds and mammals is compared? Keep in your mind, mammals are having longer large intestine as compared to 
other groups such as birds to assist them in absorption of water as well as salts. Cecum is found at the start of large intestine. Where is the number of cecum birds? Birds, they are usually having two cecum, as you can see over here. The birds ki digestive tract ko enlarge kiya gaya. Esophagus crop, post crop, esophagus proventriculus as well as gizzard or ventriculus and pancreas, small intestine and two CK which are present at the start of large intestine. So right option hoga yahan par two. Number 41, mechanical digestion of food occurs at which level of gastrointestinal tract? Vesa to mechanical digestion, oral cavity, stomach or small intestine mein with the help of bile salts ho jati. So, lekin yahan pe main jo points hamaar pas ho hai oral cavity with the help of teeth or stomach mein jo oblique muscles ki wajah se digestion hoti hai that is mechanical. So right option will be Charlie. Which of the following are absorbed in the large intestine? Large intestine is concerned with absorption of water as well as salts. So Charlie. Brunner's glands which are produced in the duodenum they are stimulated by so yaad rakhi ka duodenum ki jo secretions hain they are stimulated by bile secretions or bile pigments actually uh, duodenal secretions they are stimulated by acidic chyme bile pigments are wrongly mentioned over here acidic chyme is the right option acidic chyme jaise stomach se release hoti hai aur phir ja ke duodenum ki wall ko touch karti hai to yahan pe maujood glands activate honge from acidic secretions and they will produce further secretions so instead of choosing bile pigments you will prefer acidic chyme number 44 which of the following is not the function of liver liver is involved in uh, detoxification certain blood plasma protein formation production of uh, certain um, other vitamins and their storage but digestive enzymes ye liver produce nahi kar raha liver sirf bile salts produce karega jo emulsification mechanical digestion ke saath concerned hai how many sphincters are found in digestive tract of human they are six in number but system ki agar baat ho to wahan par seven hai six kaise first of all is the esophageal sphincter upper esophageal then six Second is lower esophageal or cardiac sphincter. Third one is pyloric sphincter. And fourth one is ileocecal sphincter. And last two sphincters are found in the anus, outer sphincter of skeletal muscle, inner sphincter of smooth muscles. A seventh sphincter which is found in system but not in the gut is sphincter of Audi, which is a uh, found at the level of didenum where hepatopancreatic duct they enter into the didenum lekin overall agar aap count kare to ye six sphincters yahan par maujood hain human gut ya digestive tract ke andar so right option charlie the causative organisms which are responsible for food poisoning they are mainly compylovector as well as salmonella aur isme jo common Agents hain jo ke food poisoning cause karta hai. In human gut, all kind of absorption takes place in the major absorption site in case of human is ileum as well as in other mammals which is highly supplied with blood vessels as well as uh, lymph vessels jahan pe absorption ho gai different substances ki. Submucosa in gut, it contains all of the following except Sir, mucosa ke andar digestive glands nahi honge because it, they are present in the mucosal region. Jabke lymph vessels, blood vessels or jo connective tissue hai ye sir mucosa ka part hai. As you can see over here, mucosa mein digestive glands hai. Jabke jo sir mucosa hai uske andar baaki sir mucosal glands ke saath saath connective tissue, blood vessels or lymph vessels maujood hoti hai. At the junction of ileum and colon in human, there are two structures basically a sphincter or a valve, ileocecal valve as well as ileocecal sphincter, as you can see over here. Ki yahan pe sphincter hoga, that is known as ileocecal sphincter, or uske saath saath valve hai, that valve is known as ileocecal valve. 
to prevent backward flu. Number 50, teeth of mammals, they are heterodont and uh, they are having different shape as well as size. So that's why beta is the right option. Endocrine cells in the stomach, which release gastrin hormone, they're the part of innermost layer that is mucosa. Or here, endocrine cells are the okay. Gastrin or secretin produce, uh, gastrin hormone ko jo produce karein. Or gastrin hormone further gastric juice ki production karvaega. Isi ke upar action karte. Oxyntic cells, then in the stomach, they are responsible for the production of HCL. Jabke zymogen cells, they are responsible for pepsinogen, which ultimately combine uh, or react with HCL to produce active pepsin. Chyle is formed in chyme jo hai wo stomach ke andar produce hoti hai aur chyle ki secretion is formed within small intestine. The approximate diameter of human small intestine is four centimeter. Jab ki iski jo length hai wo six to seven meters hai. In which part of human small intestine the digestion of proteins and carbohydrate is completed? It is duodenum where most of the digestion with reference to proteins as well as carbohydrates is completed while most of the absorption it takes place in the ileum part. How much every fluid is absorbed by small intestine daily? It is almost 9 liter according to Mirren Halizology which is absorbed daily by the small intestine. The appendix number 57 in human contains an abundance of lymphoid tissue and may function as part of immune system. This may lymphite tissue, which is also like lacteal, so you can see here, this is also in the small intestine. Ke andar hai. So, we call it immune system ka part ke hai. or lymphatic system. Ka. Pancreatic amylase converts polysaccharides into, they convert polysaccharides into disaccharide, that is maltose. And stomach has acidic pH, which is almost 2, but addition of bicarbonate from pancreas, they raise the pH up to 7. Micelli in the gut, they are lipid aggregates, fatty acids, and glycerol with a surface coat of bile salts usually. So, it's my right option, hai, alpha. That was all about nutrition and digestion. Next topic or next discussion will be about thermoregulation from Miller and Harley Zoology. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.